Good morning, welcome back. You're watching Breakfast at Dawn. Let's remind you once again of our email address, which is breakfast at dawnnews.tv. And of course, to watch Dawn live on the internet 24 7, it is dawn.com. Should you wish to uh, join our conversation, just send in your text message to 6622, and the format is DBD, that's Daily Breakfast Dawn. Please don't forget to send your name and location along with the message. <sighs> is that a mouthful or what? Now, let's get to our next segment entrepreneurship cyberspace creativity these three things going together in Pakistan is very very rare and when it happens and it happens successfully it's phenomenal and we're very honored to have two incredible gentlemen in the studio with us Mr. Adnan Heather and Norman Turab good morning gentlemen thank, thank you. you for joining us thank you. good Glad to have you on the show Hello. hey oh that's a bit of a stretch there all right <laughs> now this you guys founded lootmar.com yes we did which is kind of like the eBay of Pakistan yes. yeah how does it work? Do people actually come there and shop? It's doing well? I mean, how's it? I mean, you know, because this kind of stuff with the piracy and, and people not, you know, is it working? How does it go? Actually, that's precisely the question we asked ourselves about a year back. Okay. And the answer is yes, people buy, Okay. people sell. And I mean, the kind of things that we buy and sell is just amazing from iPhones to memory sticks to we actually have signed t shirts from Mikal Hassan and, uh, and Ahmed Bara online. Exactly. So it's a range of things. But well, how much would something like that go for? Well, um, an iPhone is cheaper than the market price. We've sold some for 25,000. We've sold some iPods st that started at 1 rupee and sold for 4,000. For a Mikal Hassan well, signed t shirt? For, for, no, for, I'm talking about the iPhone here. For, okay, Mikhail, right. for actually, Ahmed Bara's t shirt is uh, 1,000, 1,500 rupees, and all the money goes to China. Charity. Here's the thing. Wow. Yeah. So, All right. so we okay. have this char celebrity auction slash charity auctions. Yeah. So celebrities have given us given us their memorabilia. We auction them and, and all the proceeds go to charity of their choice. That is fantastic. That's, that's cool. All right. Um, whose idea was this? Actually, this, this started several years back okay. um, as an idea in, in Zabes, where both of us were students and there were two other friends with us. Okay. So it started, then we put it on the shelf, and the idea was that there is no real. Um, internet website in Pakistan where people can go and do anything. I mean, right. if you look at the top 10 websites, they're Yahoo, Hotmail, I mean, right. gosh, right. come on. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's where it started. And because we needed a portal in Pakistan, people could buy and sell. Mm -hmm. and, and that was it. Okay, now how does it work? Do people send you the stuff and then you mail it out? And is there some kind of guarantee to the, to the material you're getting? And how, how do you pull it what together? Because we we're not exactly known for being upfront about <laughs> what we want to sell. True, true yeah. absolutely. So there are a number of things that, uh, uh, that, that we've put in place just because it's Pakistan and, and to, to, you know, to, to have trust in the system. Right. So things don't come through us directly because we'd be a bottleneck. Okay. But there is a feedback system on Lutmar in which buyers and sellers give each other feedback. Okay. So those who have good feedback, they get more uh, they get more sales, which is so it's, it's a system okay. really reinforces. So there's a credibility system that's it, working. Absolutely. Okay. And other than that, we've partnered with uh, one of the major logistics companies in Pakistan, and we did give cash on pickup. So you can actually go to their branch, okay. and you can you can look at the item, and then you pay cash. Oh wow! So, so this really, I mean, it so this really oh, takes you. Oh, you've really worked out all the loopholes, haven't you? Yeah, well, well, we, we try. try. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Naman, I want to ask you something, but this is going to come right after the break. I'm going to take a quick short break. We will be right back. Send in your SMSs now, six six two two. The format is DBD. Send your name and location along with a message. Don't go anywhere. You're watching Breakfast at Dawn. Welcome back. We're talking to two incredible gentlemen, Adnan and Noman, who are fantastic entrepreneurs. They've used cyberspace to their advantage. You're making money off it. You're going to be a millionaire soon. Bill Gates better watch out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, right. Now, apart from that, you've been doing some very good work as well. You just won an international award for that. Can you just tell us something about that? So there's an international award we won. Um, it was actually based out of Duke University where I was studying. Okay. And they have a competition every year to develop medical technologies for the, for, for the developing world. And it's, just, it's effectively a social program. Okay. And my team and I, we participated. It was a very diverse team from all over the world. Okay. And we actually won $100,000 there. Oh, well done. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Wow. And that money went towards founding a non uh, a non-profit, a US-based non-profit, which we call Imagine. Okay. And the, te the technology that we helped develop was uh, to prevent cervical cancer in women in the developing world. Huh. It's a real pressing problem. There are hundreds of thousands of women who die every year, in, in the, and the, the problem is severe in like Tanzania and Haiti. Wow. So we developed diagnostic technology with a very senior doctor, right. and then we wrote a business plan around it, a commercialization plan around it. We got funding for it. We co-founded the company. We developed the prototype. 
And so, yeah. Numan's expression, you guys are quite <laughs> the geniuses here, aren't you? Uh, uh, All right. Uh, Numan, let me, let me ask you now. Mm -hmm. uh, any new projects in the, in the pipeline? Anything else coming up? We've just started charity auctions, as, as we were just discussing a bit earlier, uh, where, where a lot of uh, celebrities have put in their stuff and designated a specific charity okay. uh, for the money to go to. All right. So we, we've got a good response so far, and we are hoping to reach a million rupees soon. So, okay. so that we have, let's say, a lot of uh, people uh, doing good for uh, the society as sure, well. Yeah. Sure, sure. So okay. uh, that's pretty much about it. And a lot, lot happens every day. I mean, we we've got a rupee auctions coming up on Loot Marsoon, so you get everything for a rupee. Oh wow! So you have to fight to fight, get. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> fight tooth and nail. That's yeah. really fun. Um, uh, you mentioned during the break. You're talking about you you're coming up with another portal that's for women. Yes. So there, there, there's actually an entrepreneur, Jahan Ara, and she started yes. a women's virtual network, which okay. is really cool, which is like an e-lance for women in Pakistan. It's, it's a very cool concept. Mm -hmm. So now there are three startups that are coming together to form an ecosystem to mm -hmm. help women. So there's this, this uh, uh, business that, uh, that Jahan Ara, this non, it's actually a social uh, entrepreneurship uh, that she, she's doing. Uh, women's virtual network, then there's a company out of Lahore, which is Amana. Okay. They're, they're like a PayPal for Pakistan and then there's us. All so right. we'll work together to provide women a platform in which they can provide services. So they'll have a services marketplace, right. products which is Lootmar, right. and to facilitate payment, that's, that's where Amana is coming in. Wow. And this is a particularly social entrepreneurship bent to it. But, okay, but, but generally, you know, Pakistan, yes, we love to surf the net for whatever reasons, where they want to look at, blah, blah, blah. But Pakistanis are not that keen to perhaps spend money on the internet. Um, how did you get past that hurdle? Actually, our observation has been that Pakistanis are happy to spend money on the internet as okay. long as they're getting a good deal. All right. What, re what they don't want to do is use their credit cards online. Yes. So, and that's where that's where the cash on pickup, that's where logistics are. We've partnered with brick and mortar companies to solve that problem. Okay. And then there are companies like uh, Amana, which okay. which have set up a PayPal in Pakistan, PayPal-like uh, um, service in Pakistan, which completely circumvents the credit card. All right. So, okay. so we're working with an ecosystem to. So, you know, okay. Are there any hurdles that you are still facing that you haven't found the loopholes to? <laughs> Lots, <laughs> we, we face hurdles every day. Okay. And uh, as, as 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 entrepreneurs, really, it's it's. Uh, the biggest barrier that we face is culture because it's uh, people find it hard to believe that you're young and you're running a business and you're doing other things. <laughs> exactly. Which right. okay. is, is the biggest thing actually. Huh, huh. So how are you getting past it? Is it just, 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 uh, how long has this been in, in, in um, action now? A year? Um, we've been doing it for over a year but okay. it's been uh, publicly available for four months after today. For four months and are you, is there some kind of marketing campaign on? Is it just by word of mouth? It's word of mouth. It's uh, word of mouth and it's what we call viral marketing. So there's not been a penny spent on conventional advertising and we've, we've We've passed the thousand user mark. We're closing transactions every day without a penny in conventional advertising. That is absolutely incredible. Congratulations on a fantastic job, and uh, well, wish you all the luck. And uh, when you become Bill Gates, I, I, I guess that should be an interesting thing. Bill Gates from Pakistan. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for coming in this thank morning. You. On that note, it's time to break up for our headline news now. But we will be back. Stay with us. You're watching Breakfast at Dawn.